I, 35 male, recently found out my wife, 39 female, has been lying about where she is at night. Quick background, my wife and I have been together for over 10 years and we have two little kids, both under 5. About 6 months ago she started going out with her friends much more frequently than she had previously. She went from one night a week to around 3 to 4 nights a week. I didn't think anything of because she has always liked going out and now with having the kids I can understand her needing to blow off some steam more often. I didn't start to think something was going on until she started to come home later and later each time. Several times I caught her getting home just before 5 a.m. I get up for work at 5.15 a.m. so she assumed I would still be sleeping and not notice. When I confronted her about it she just said she was too drunk to drive so she slept it off at, friend she was out with that night, s house. Sounded iffy but I wasn't about to get mad at her for not drinking and driving so I let it go. Actually I told her I was proud she was being responsible for a change. I ignored my suspicions and just accepted her answer. Fast forward to last month. We are home having a normal Tuesday night, when she suddenly needs to run over to her friend's house. Her friend is going through a bad divorce and she says that she is scared her ex is going to do something to her so she needs to go over there for support. This is around 5.30 pm. I don't think anything of it and say, just call me if he shows up and I'll come right over. Hours go by without hearing from her. I text her and get no response. It's now 11.30 and I still haven't heard from her so now I'm starting to get really worried that something has happened with the EX. I call and get VM. Now I'm freaking out. I had just gotten a new phone so I didn't have all my contacts on it so I couldn't find her friend's hashtag to try calling her. That's when I remembered I could get her info from our cell phone records. I log in to go through the history to find her hashtag and while I am searching I keep seeing a number I don't recognize pop up in the logs. The main reason it stood out was because the call times were extremely long, like average call to other numbers is 10 to 15 minutes, the average for this number was like 1 to 2 hours. Then I see that this is the hashtag she was texting with right before she needed to leave to run to her friend's house. I do a quick lookup of the hashtag and it's some guy I've never met. I instantly go from worried to pissed off. I call her phone non-stop for a good 5 minutes. She still doesn't answer but she does finally text me back. I tell her to call me right away. She doesn't. 10 minutes go by and then she calls. I ask her where she is and she says she is just leaving her friend's house. I tell her I know she is lying and she freaks out and hangs up. When she gets home we have a huge fight about it. She's been drinking and I'm furious so the fighting isn't getting us anywhere so I leave and go sleep in the guest bed. The next day I tell her I can't be married to a cheater so I'm filing for a divorce and she freaks out. She comes clean about lying to me but says she isn't having an affair. She just has a new group of friends that she knew I wouldn't approve of so she was hiding it. I don't believe her but I can't prove anything and nothing she says is gonna change my mind so we agree to a trial separation. In an effort to not disrupt the kids lives we decide that I will stay in the guest room until I find my new place. The next two weeks are a blur of non-stop crying, her and I, and talking, we were never really good at communicating so this is new. We discuss the things that lead us to where we are and what we both could have done differently to avoid it getting to this point. Those two weeks were the most we had ever opened up to each other verbally and it really brought us closer than we had been in a while. We agree to put it behind us and to try to work on our marriage with a caveat, I don't want her seeing slash talking to this group of friends anymore and no more lies. She agrees but says they all already bought tickets to an upcoming concert and she still wants to go. Like an idiot I agree to it. The days leading up to the concert are great. Like some of the best days we've had together in a long time. Then the day of the concert comes and I'm emotionally a reek. Here I am telling my wife to go hang out with some guy that I'm pretty sure she was having an affair with a month ago. I have a rough night trying to deal with my anxiety about the whole thing but I still didn't want to ruin her concert so I didn't call slash text her at all. The next day I send her a text just to confirm that she still wants to work on things and that she is done with that group. She confirms and everything seems fine. I text her a little later to see if a package was delivered, she works from home, and get no response. It is a time-sensitive thing so I text her again like an HR later, still nothing. I figure she must be napping because she was out late at the concert so rather than bother her I decide to just check our security cameras to answer my question. Much to my surprise I see that she's not napping, she's showered gotten dressed and left the house. 
She is supposed to be working so she never leaves for more than 15 to 20 minutes. She was gone for almost 3 hours. I'm freaking out but also trying to convince myself that she had an appointment or something that I forgot about. When I get home I see that she isn't dressed up anymore, she is back to wearing her PJS. I ask her if she went anywhere today and she says she went to the pharmacy quick but that was it. I lose it. I showed her the security logs and asked her to explain and she just said I was being paranoid. Now I do have anxiety issues and I'm prone to thinking negatively so I start questioning her as a way to talk through my anxiety and convince myself that I am overreacting. Rather than try to talk me through it she gets very defensive and accuses me of spying on her and taking away her privacy. We fight all night, I ask her a question, what are you doing at the pharmacy for 3 hours, she deflects by saying I'm being crazy and I need to see a DR to deal with these issues I'm having. This morning I texted her asking her to come clean and to my surprise she does. She says she forgot her wallet in one of their cars so she went to pick it up. She lied about it because she knew I would be mad that she had to see them again, but she didn't have a choice. I want to believe her and work on things but she just keeps lying. I don't know what to do and I don't have anyone to talk to about it. Please help me process this. Top 5 Comments She's lying to you. And she's gaslighting you. Trust your instincts. You've done nothing wrong. Gaslighting 101. This isn't fair to you, my friend. The lies are making you feel crazy. But you aren't. You've written here all the instances you've had of her lying to you. She only comes clean when you're leaving. I know you think those times you felt close to her were real, but she went right back to lying. She didn't actually learn anything. She wasn't actually sorry. If she did and was, then she wouldn't continue to lie to you. What is it about these friends that you wouldn't approve of? Spoiler, it's that she's fucking one of them. I would also not believe there is a group. I'm really really sorry that this is happening. At this point, you can't believe anything this person tells you. And when the trust is shattered, what do you even have left? If she isn't fucking one or more of the friends, I will seriously reevaluate my critical thinking skills. She's cheating and she's lying and she thinks you're so stupid you'll believe her lies. You really want to stay with a woman like that. Well it was super nice of you to let her have one last hookup. If this were my situation, I'd be calling that unknown number.